Hello, welcome to Scrap Time. My name is Christine, and in this video, I am showing you the Tonic Craft Kit number 52 called Country Apron. And I'm going to start by doing a little unboxing week so we can see what it is we get to use this month. So open it up. There we go. So we have our bag of embellishments. We have our dies and stamps and our paper. So let's start with our embellishments here. It comes in a cute little bag. So we have some Nouveau Dream, Dream Drops. This is in Lemon Twist, full-size bottle full bottle here of shimmer powder in Catherine wheel. It's a red. Now we have some Nouveau glimmer ac glitter accents and it is in winter cranberry. Then we have some sequins, prism pink. We have a glitter marker in fired brick. We have a smaller bottle of the Nouveau Chalk Mousse, and this is Delicate Blue, and these are also available in larger sizes. But as I've said in previous videos, I really like that we get these small little more like tester sizes. So you can play around with it, and you can decide if it's something you want to use, either um, the color you like or just the product, and then you can invest in the larger sizes. But by getting these smaller ones in the kits, gives you that chance to play around and experiment with some products that might be new to you. And then we have some uh, Crafters Ribbon. It's five meters of three millimeter. It's thin in a chili red. So those are the embellishments we get in the kit. So next up, let's look at the dies. They come in this little folder, and if you're new, you'll get a little binder to put your folders in to keep them all together. So as I said, it's called Country Apron. So you can see we have some different apron shapes, a lot of little like gardener tools here, and then some scissors I think is really cute, and then like hammers, um, leaves, this is some baking tools, actually. I think on this side was baking, gardening, hearts. So really cute to make some um, little aprons. That's gonna be fun. And then the stamps are some words to go with it. Happy Mother's Day from the kitchen, Grandma's Kitchen, Happy Father's Day. So this set's really great. You can use this um, throughout for like the little occasions and stuff from the garden of and that could be cute if you had little seeds or something baked with love lots of cute little sayings and then finally we'll take a look at the paper it comes in this little folder so we have this cute little floral it's double-sided so you can see both sides you get two sheets so that's really cute for a little garden apron or that. This specialty paper, it's almost like a flower design in that soft pink. Then one of the pearlescence uh, cardstock in like a gold. A regular cardstock with the canvas feel or texture. This one too is a blue textured cardstock. Oh, here's another specialty paper. You can see that it has sort of a flower print to it. That's really pretty. Oh, another pearlescent in the pink. I, if you've watched my other videos, I love these pearlescent papers because they have a really nice thickness to them. And I just like that sheen that they give off. Oh, here's a metallic paper in red. Oof. Um, this is just a smooth, heavier cardstock. We have a red textured cardstock. And our last paper is a nice gold metallic shiny paper. 
So up next, I will show you what I end up creating with all these fun products. So now I'm going to show you what I made and I tended to make little aprons. They're cards that open up and inside I stamped little greetings like Happy Mother's Day. And for this one, I took some of the ribbon and just tied a knot and then I secure it down with a little bit of glue just so it doesn't um, pull out of the through the holes. And I cut all the little pieces here to go in and added a little flower since this one's the gardening one. And then I used that mirrored paper. Because I used the pattern paper, I wanted the solid um, little pocket. This one is for the handyman or a woman in your life. And when I cut these little tools, I cut them twice. So I cut it out of a brown paper, like a craft paper, and then I cut it out of the metal paper from the previous kit we got in the little paper pads. And it just makes it look more like a hammer versus all one. Whereas like the wrench is all one because typically they are um, all metal. The screwdriver I gave a little wooden handle to. So you can have fun mixing it up and making uh, fun little tools. And then inside again, I just did Happy Father's Day. This one, I really like this paper, so I wanted to showcase it a bit more. So I made the little pocket here on top and I put the wooden spoon and the little beater in the pocket. And this one is baked with love and I added in the little hearts um, inside. And then this one here, it's again, uh, it could be a Father's Day gift or birthday gift card. It's, I used, this time I cut it out of some uh, of the distress paper. So inside it's also sort of craft. I cut out the utensils just out of the metal since typically they are metal. And I used this stripe um, cutting in this one as well. So that's really cute for um, someone who likes to barbecue. So I just want to show you, sometimes people ask how I make the card. And so what I do is I take a piece of paper and I fold it in half. And then when I'm placing it in, you can see the cutting line at the very top. I place this right under that cutting line. So it is right under, so it doesn't cut through my paper, but I get most of the pattern of the card. And then when I put the second part on top, you'll see there'll be the tiniest little overhang that will fill in that space that I cut out. And so that's how I do it with all pattern cards. Now I could have done it on the side as well and had the card open up, but in this case, I liked how um, the card opened this way. So it's a personal preference if you want your card to open to the side. I would do the same. I would just line it up right inside that cutting line there. Now I just wanted to show you a couple of the other utensils I didn't use. So for the spatula, I cut it out of a brown paper and then added the pink on top to give it that little difference. But then some of these other ones, the scissors are usually metal. You could have um, cut it and had different colored like where you put your fingers. Little spatula. The rolling pin, you could do it so you had different colored handles. And then I wanted to put these little oven mitts somewhere but I didn't end up using them. But I just wanted to show you how cute all these little things are. Like you could cut out a whole pile of scissors and make a pattern with these. These could be used over and over um, on different projects. And the one the other thing I just wanted to mention too was with say Baked With Love, you can make this not as a cart, just as one piece and like a tag and add it to any baked goods that you had because there's the other stamp where you could um, Put your name of who baked it or whatever. So the, this uh, set can be used throughout the year even at Christmas instead of this beautiful pink paper you could do a Christmas paper and add it to all your baked goods as part of like a little Christmas thing, Valentine's Day, um, whenever you do baking. So I line them up you can see them all in a row 
And um, those are the cute little apron cards I made using the Country Apron Craft Kit from Tonic. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to Scrap Time Videos on YouTube. In the meantime, here are a couple of the videos you might be interested in watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.